Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 5 of this Tim Hortons. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to finish off all the curtain walls. So now we're going to add in curtain grids and then some mullions. So what I'm going to do is go to architecture and click on mullions. The way that we're going to add the mullions right here is um, by using grid lines. So here I'm basically going to add a grid line from um, horizontal first. So here I'm going to add grid lines and let's select this one right here. And I'm going to put around 500 from below because I'm looking at an image from Tim Hortons and they have something that looks like this. So I'm going to do 500 and I'm going to add on all windows and then after I add that I'm going to divide this and where we're going to put some um, some um, doors don't do anything for that part so here we have this one as well. And basically we're going to make it solid for the bottom and then just glass, regular glass. So it's basically the way they um they show or they design so here I could just go midpoint on all of this and maybe before I change this I'm gonna make it solid so that it's easier for me and then here we're going to select so actually before you put the grid line in the middle i think it's easier for us to just just highlight the panel itself only and then make it solid and then after that we're going to change it afterwards so for the solid part i want to actually make it metal so that's good material default we're going to make this one aluminum maybe it's already here right there so that's good and then we just need to be patient and do this on the bottom panel in order for you to do that use control button so that you'll be able to do multiple selection and at the same time, tabbing. And then release anything and then hold control and then click. Tab, hold control and then click. 
tab hold control and click and then now just do the solid part and i believe that's good enough and then now we could divide this And then we're going to add something at the top as well. So here we could basically maybe divide this one. So in threes. Let me just double check this one. If we put this one properly of if we divide this one because it's going to snap if it notice or it feels like it you're um, dividing it in between or just making three This one I'm going to divide and then put it right there. And then lastly, another 500 at the top. This one, the, the, the one at the top is not going to be visible because we're going to add in an awning. Then we could just align that. And then for the, the one for the door, add top as well. And then this one, we just need to align it. I believe this is the one or this one AL there we go and then add this one right here 500 this one is probably a double door so just divide it in in between There we go. And then now we're ready to add mullions. So go to architecture, click on mullion, and we're gonna use 50 by 65. You, you will need to click on all grids. And then now just click on all grids. Here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it smaller. So I'm gonna add in another grids there. There we go. This one we're going to add something at the sides. So here we need to know are we going to put this one only in one segment? So for this one Let's just add something like this. Maybe around 300. There we go. And then 300 as well here. And 
and then this one here as well there we go and then click on mullion again all grids and then select that right there and then right here and then because this is um this is the one for the doors you will need to remove the the mullion below because that's how we will need to swing So that's good right there. Afterwards, we need to go to insert, load family, and go to doors. And then let's load curtain wall single glass. Click on open. And the way you do it is you need to select the panel itself. Once you select it, click and then drag right here and then select this one. In terms of um, the orientation we will need to go to uh, the first floor but we don't need to do it right now and then here go to find so that everything shows so now here select this one click on door let's remove this and actually what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna delete all of this or maybe I'm going to undo this and I'm going to add in curtain grid right here because probably around 140 on each side. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to select one segment only. I don't want to do that on the other side. So 160 is good enough as well. So click on Mullion. Click this one as well. And this one. And then now delete the ones right here. And make sure to select this. And then the glass. And then in terms of orientation, don't worry about it. We're going to do that later on. This one. And then now go to first floor. We could change this. Let's flip it on the other side like that. Flip it. Flip it like this and then flip it again and then flip this part so now everything is in proper orientation I'm gonna do this one as well and then we're gonna click on all mullion we're gonna make it simple like that it will look like it's a sliding window right there. So that's good enough. Of course, we're going to add in an awning as well there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some of the heights on this. So here, this is where we're going to have an an upper parapet so what I'm gonna do now is go to first floor and I'm gonna make sure to cut this first so SL let's cut this and then let's unjoin this I'm going to try to unjoin this and then here because this is unjoined we could basically so here it's hard to see but we need to put this one into top parapet 
but I don't like the look of this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo this undo undo I think the easiest part is I'm gonna slice it with gap there we go so once it's with gap I think it's a lot better to manipulate So now if we go here, top parapet, that's good right there. And then now we need to remove the gap. I think what we could do is I think we need to undo this and then SL let's slice this and we really need to move this one and the thing that got issue with that is We need to now let's clean it so SL cut it specifically right here and then we could just put it top then I'm just gonna leave it like that and then go back to first floor and we're gonna do this as well on this side and then change this to top parapet there we go So we have this and then we need to do something on this side as well. So we're going to make this going up as well. And then we just need to go right here and cut this one as well as um there we go change this to top parapet move this one al something like this and then we could actually make this big as well if we want to but we're going to clean this up for sure I like to add more um, and then here what we're gonna do is so we're going to change the joining right here so wall joint select that and then click on next so I'm gonna do this instead so I'm happy with that the well the way the wall joint is and then try this one as well on this side
trying to push this one like that and then here I think that's good enough so now I'm gonna assign so let's go to modify and then let's use paint, paint to assign so I'm gonna use bricks I'm gonna use this one just to select this side and then as you can see this is all around so we need to clean this up as well so I need to change the orientation of how this one looks so I'm gonna use SL as well there we go and then we could add this paint right here and then for the higher parapet we need to do some stone so it, for the stone I'm going to I'm going to use I think um, wood first just to show the difference so I'm going to use this first The only thing that I don't like is the way this one looks. And this one as well. And then for this, we're going to SL again here. And then we're going to set a different one. I'm going to use something different. So this one will be wood plank. Maybe I'm going to choose parking stripe for now. So that to change that. So we're going to stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.